Hello and welcome back to Witches of the Moon. I'm Eva Maria, your Monday hostess. This video, unfortunately, will be uploaded late. You're going to be seeing this early Tuesday. Though this is not Tuesday's video, this is supposed to be Monday's video. And this is due to some technical difficulty and other crap that has been going on, and I apologize for that. But, um, regardless, let's get right into this. This week's topic is going to be witching on a budget. I have, um, I think, a few things to say on this. My channel, for one, my personal YouTube channel, I will recommend is a great resource for those who witch on a budget by choice or by chance. I do cover a lot of things that tend to fall within the thrifty, witchy realm, you know. Um, I'll often give out tips or ideas for things you could work with or things you could do that don't relate to spending a lot of money. Go down to the description box and you'll you'll find a link to that. But that aside, let's get into other things that I have to share with you. Besides my channel being a great resource for thrifty or or budget witchery, one of the first things I want to talk about is that belief that tends to be spread around that, oh, you shouldn't haggle for your magical tools. Now, there are things in life that you haggle for, and there are things in life that you do not haggle over. There are certain things where you get what you pay for, certain times, but it's not true across the board. Most things that you will need, there's nothing wrong with haggling over. Don't don't be afraid to shop around. Don't don't look at like thrift shopping or or bargain hunting as like something poor people do. No, it's something smart people do, okay? Compare prices, compare quality of products and so on and so forth. The second thing I would advise other than never mind that no haggling crap, get creative. Think outside the box. Anything can be used for magical purposes, especially if you can discern the symbolism and association or associations relating to whatever it is that you're planning to use in a magical way. I mean, you can use some really off-the-wall stuff. I did a video on my channel, I just did one, that regards psychological triggers and magic. And there is a part in that video where I talk about how to discern symbolism and associations of things. So, you might want to check that out. Just saying. <laughs> Use what you have. Use what is accessible to you. Also, there are many items such as candles, candle holders, incense, incense holders, salt and water bowls, uh, offering bowls, chalices frames for images of deity that you might have, you know, either drawn or painted or printed out from online or whatever. You can get things like this at dollar stores, yard sales, flea markets, clearance aisles, shelves or bins, secondhand stores, thrift shops, internet auction sites, etc. You know, there are a lot of places where there's some bargains to be found. For things like books, you can do book swaps with people that you know who are also witchy. But I'm going to say, if you borrow people's books, don't be that person that borrows a book and then doesn't return it for 10 years. Don't be that person who borrows a book, spills shit on it, ruins it, and then returns it in shitty condition. Do be considerate. Also, um, where it comes to buying witchy books, you could buy ebooks, particularly if you don't have an e-reader, you could buy the PDF ebooks, for example. Um, there might be other formats that you can read on your computer without trouble, but you can purchase the ebook versions of a lot of desirable witchy books that you might want to read because those are generally much cheaper than the hard copy editions. Also, your library can get quite extensive. Having a physical library, that might kind of clutter up your house a little bit. So maybe getting hard copy versions can kind of be a special treat for yourself once in a blue, you know, 
Maybe only buy the books that you really fall in love with after reading them in ebook version. Another thing um, that a lot of people tend to overlook is what a great resource their local supermarket can be. I say this a lot. It's something that is just so, um, I think it's so crucial to witching on a budget. Know your kitchen herbs. Those herbs and spices that you cook with, oh my God, they can do so much for you if you just come to know what those herbs are good for. You know, come to know their associations, their applications. There are so many things you can do with those easily easy to buy inexpensive herbs you know things you can just pick up at your supermarket and you know your supermarket can be great for other things as well such as you know sea salt or oils you can use a lot of cooking oils believe it or not if you can't buy like fancier oils uh, fragrance oils or let's say essential oils or things like that that are nice to have but not not like crucial you know you can get by without those Olive oil, for example, is an excellent all-purpose oil. You can also infuse herbs into olive oil. You know, if you wanted to make, let's say, an oil but with a quality that an herb, a kitchen herb might have for your spell work, you know, you can get a little bottle, put some olive oil in there, and you decide, oh, you know, I want to infuse some rosemary into the olive oil. You could take um, a pinch of the rosemary or a spoon of the rosemary, or if you have fresh rosemary, because sometimes supermarkets sell that too, you could take a sprig of fresh rosemary, put it into the oil in a, a sealed bottle, you know, and then put that in a dark, cool place for, you know, a few weeks. Let that infuse, and then you can use that, and it'll have the properties of the rosemary as well in the oil. But there are other oils you can get. You know, if you look in your in your supermarket, you know, things like all different kinds of oils at all different kind of prices. You know, whether it be like sesame oil or grapeseed oil or, you know, sunflower oil or whatever. You know, there's there's a wide array and if you experiment and, you know, get to know those common oils, those easily accessible oils, you can use those in your work as well. And I'm sure you could probably find other things as well in local supermarkets. I know that there are supermarkets that sell like a lot of the saint candles for pretty cheap for those that work with saint candles or sometimes even just they have sometimes just the uh, plain seven day candles that don't have labels you know in various colors sometimes they sell boxes of emergency candles that are only a few dollars but you get a whole big box of like white tapers your local park or backyard could also be another really valuable resource you can find nice branches for example to make wands with or you could find like nice flat stones to make pentacles for your altar with you could work with some wild growing herbs but I'm gonna say if you're gonna be messing around with wild herbs please do know the plants that you're working with be able to identify them if you're gonna be picking herbs and stuff be careful because there are some herbs that look innocent enough, but aren't so great to be messing with, um, to be touching or ingesting or, you know, messing around with, so do be careful there. When you're shopping too in your local stores, do be aware that there are certain things that you're going to get cheaper at seasonal times. For example, gold or silver candles, usually you'll find an abundance of those in common stores around like Christmas season, you know, the holiday time. Whereas skull candles and black candles, look for those to come around where they'll be more accessible and potentially even cheaper at, at like Halloween time and Samhain time. There will be a lot of that stuff in common stores and you can stock up for year round. But anyway, I'm going to wrap up this video because I have to get it finalized and, and uploaded. And I'm going to wish you all blessed be and ashe. You have a wonderful day. Comment below if you have any thoughts, questions, 
anything to share, chime in, add whatever. And do stay tuned for everyone else's videos this week. And until next time, until next week. Bye-bye for now. Stay awesome.